Hey Coastal, how are you doing today? Uh, we are in our third and final week of our time of prayer and fasting. We sure hope you've enjoyed it. And this week we are just spending some time meditating on having a sound mind. We've been in that scripture. We've not been given the spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of sound mind. And so we're focusing on sound mind. I want to read you a scripture right here in 2 Corinthians chapter 10. I'm going to focus just on verse 5. And let me read it to you. It says this. It says, we destroy every proud obstacle that keeps people from knowing God. We capture their rebellious thoughts and teach them to obey Christ. Our co my commentary in my Bible, I want to read this to you. It's absolutely amazing. It says this. It says, um, Spirit-empowered believers must capture every thought and yield it to Christ. When exposed to ideas or opportunities that might lead to wrong desires, you have a choice. And I know sometimes we don't think that we have a choice about what we think about, but we have a choice about what we meditate. Uh, a Bible school a teacher and a, a, faith, a father in the faith to me was Brother Hagen, and he used to say this. He said, a bird can fly over your head and you can't stop that, but you can sure stop it from building a nest. And so I just want to encourage you today, you have the ability to decide what you meditate on. So you need to capture those thoughts and pull them into subjection to the Word of God. Remember, Remember, ideas or thoughts are not erased, but they are replaced. So think about what you're thinking about. Amen. Let me pray for you today. Father God, we are so grateful for your word, your word that is able to renew our mind. And so we choose right now to meditate therein day and night on your word. I thank you, Father God, that we do capture any thought and bring it into subjection of your word, any thought that might come against the word of God. And so we thank you for the power to do that. We thank you for the power to renew our minds. We love you, Lord, and we yield our thoughts to you. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. We love you. Have an amazing day today.